Strokes are the third leading cause of death in the United States and one of the most common neurological diseases affecting millions of people and their families. The good news is we've made great progress. The problem still is, how do you know if you're having a stroke and what should you do? A stroke is a very common problem. I would say it's in our top one or two most common diagnoses. We can't tell what type of stroke you're having until we get a CAT scan. There are bleeding strokes, there are strokes caused by blockages of blood vessels, and the treatment's very different. So there's really nothing you can do at home besides calling 911 and getting to the emergency room right away. Our biggest challenge in treating stroke has been uh, in getting patients to recognize that they're actually having a stroke. When you're having a heart attack, you have a lot of pain. This usually prompts folks to get to the emergency room right away. But with a stroke, it's an absence of some neurologic function. And traditionally, people have kind of just hoped it would go away. An easy way to know what to do is to think of the word FAST, F-A-S-T. F stands for face. So when a person's having a stroke, they can have weakness or drooping on one side of the face. A stands for arm, weakness of one arm or the other. S stands for speech, slurred speech or trouble speaking. And then the T in FAST stands for time. Every minute that a stroke is going on, a person is losing two million brain cells. We can reverse some of the signs and symptoms of stroke and prevent brain damage, but it's really important the person gets there on time. Time lost is brain lost. This is our biplane neuroangiography suite. This machine allows us to image patients who are having a stroke. This is the newest generation clot retriever device that we have. It's called a stent retriever, but this stent has been specifically designed to go in, trap a blood clot, restore blood flow to the brain, and then help pull that clot out. This device next to me is a telestroke device. It allows me to leverage the power of the internet to bring top quality, cutting edge uh, stroke care to your local emergency room. And keep in mind, it's not just seniors who are at risk actually about one quarter of people with strokes are under the age of 65. You can even have stroke in childhood or early adulthood. So if you think you're having the signs and symptoms of a stroke, even if you're young, don't ignore it. Go to the emergency room right away. And here's something I'd like to suggest. When this show gets off the air, take just five minutes to see what you can do to make your home and your family just a little bit safer. Thanks for joining us for this year's Operation 7 Save a Life. You know, we can never say it enough. Make sure you have working smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. You won't regret it. And neither will the people you love. I'm Bill Ritter, and for all of us here at Channel 7, thanks for watching. And be fire safe.